Good day fellow DIYers, my name is Tomas and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's episode we'll try to use a T-Track and create a jig around it for our circular saw. So stick around and watch the video. Right, so off the bat you're probably going to tell me, uh, well get something straight, for example, like the tree track, clamp it into your workpiece, and you can ride your saw alongside the track. And that's absolutely fine, but you and me know perfectly, uh, sometimes you're going to get a bit of a wobble and your saw will go slightly off track, you lose your uh, attention for a vague second and off it goes spiraling in the wrong direction. Well, to solve that problem, the company has made a track source that run on a track and you just place the track where you want it and that's it, job done. But if you don't have a track saw, but you actually got a circular saw, you can really make a super simple jig that will make your life so much easier. So what we're going to be using for this particular jig, I've got some 12 uh, millimeter plywood. I've got uh, this larger piece here that will help us to build the base. And I've got some strips of 12 mil as well. We're also going to need some toggle clamps. Okay, so it's time to cut our pieces to the right sizes. For that, I'm going to use my mitre saw. So this is uh, more or less how the jig is going to look like with some amendments to come in a minute. Now these two uh, will be a base um, for our clamps. So we'll attach them actually a little bit later. So to start with we need to combine those three pieces together. For that I'm going to be using some glue and some screws. But just to <laughs> hurry up the process a little bit I'm actually going to be using a nail gun as well. You can absolutely uh, skip that part if you don't have a nail gun. That's absolutely fine. For me it's just speeding up the work a little bit. Okay, so the base is more or less sorted like so, but we need to trim it a little bit. Now there's two reasons why the base actually is longer than the base plate of the saw itself. One, uh, it will give us the clamping ability, the saw to the jig itself, and it's just the ease of use. You can quickly unclamp it if you need it to do whatever else or even store it. And the other thing that will work in our favour with this, because the base is going to be longer than the saw itself, it will indicate where we need to put the jig to actually make a cut with our circular saw. The edge of the jig will actually be our guide. So at this point, we need to trim this base very carefully with our saw gliding on the fence that we actually already created. And then we're going to have a perfect indicator where the jig needs to go and where the blade will go as well. Let's do that now.
Okay, so as you can see, it's absolutely dead simple project. I've installed the toggle clamps, as you can see, like so. And uh, let's try this baby out to see if it's actually working. First of all, let's clamp the saw to the jig. Make sure the base is hitting the back of the jig so it's nice and square where it was initially. Okay, so I've got a piece of MDF and I've scored a line where I need to cut it. So, let's get our jig, like so. Remember, this edge here is the line where the blade's gonna go. So, we can align it with the line that we've got, like so. And always remember, this side will always be your waist side. This is the good side, that's the weight side. Now, uh, as I mentioned before, we're gonna be using a T-Track. Well, actually, um, the T-Track itself, it will be facing downwards. Why? Because it will be so easy and simple to actually clamp it to our workpiece. Now, in my case, I'm gonna be using a pair of clamps like this, but uh, the beauty of T-Track is that you can really come up with your own solutions and with your own personal clamps. So as you've seen, the jig works absolutely perfect and it's so simple. You only need a T-Track, couple of pieces of scraps that you've got lying about your garage and sort it, you know what I mean? Two clamps, off you go. Such an absolutely dead simple design, but it works. And if you're not using the jig and you want to use your saw, how quick is that? Now you can go and hang this somewhere out, put it out of the way so it's uh, not taking any space in your workshop. Plus the T-Track itself. If you're limited on space, this could be one for you. But obviously you don't have to use a T-Track. Anything else that's absolutely straight and will remain straight, you can adjust the channel over here to whatever width you need. So for example, you can get these straight edges like so. It works like a sort of a clamp, but obviously it's a straight edge. This one is from Parkside, so from Lidl. It doesn't cost a lot, and you just build the channel around that, and your circular saw will run on that. And it's even easier because you don't need to have any additional clamping. The clamping is in this uh, straight edge. So I hope you enjoyed this little video and maybe I've inspired you to do something similar or even a lot better. That's why I'm making these videos for. If you want to check out any of my other videos about upgrading my workshop or building this bench for example with the flip top or anything else in that matter, there will be a playlist just over here. Go and click it, have a look what I've got um, in there and maybe you will be inspired to create something amazing in your own workshop but for me guys that's all thank you so much for watching take care